गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट एज कंटिन्यूएशन विद चैप्टर नंबर वन आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द ब्रांचेज ऑफ साइकोलॉजी ब्रांचेज मीन्स फील्ड ऑफ साइकोलॉजी नाउ द फर्स्ट फील्ड ऑफ साइकोलॉजी दैट दे हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट इज कॉग्नेटिव साइकोलॉजी नाउ कॉग्नेटिव साइकोलॉजी इन्वेस्टिगेट मेंटल प्रोसेस इन्वॉल्व इन एक्विजिशन एक्विजिशन मीन्स द एक्ट ऑफ नोइंग समथिंग सो मेंटल प्रोसेस इज ऑल्सो नो इज यूज इन ऑर्डर टू नो समथिंग storage manipulation and transformation of information received from the environment along with its use and communication so the information that you receive from the environment you are able to use on the basis of mental process now here they have used the term transformation and manipulation so you are able to influence somebody or change something it is done with the help of mental process now after this they have talked about the major component of cognitive process are attention perception memory reasoning problem solving decision making and language now the definition of uh, attention in psychological term is the process through which certain stimuli are selected from group of others so in that process also we requires mental process now the second that they have talked about is perception now the perception is the process of getting retaining selecting and organizing sensory information so you are able to give meaning to a particular object that you perceive in the environment is on the basis of your mental process now the third that they have element of cognitive process is memory memory means retaining and recalling information over a period of time so you are able to write the answer in the examination with the help of memorizing so memorizing is taking place with the help of your mental process so here they are talking about mental process is also used to memorize something now the another element that they have talked about of the cognitive process is reasoning reasoning means when you see so many things around you and you try to give reason reason means forming your own judgment about a particular situation so that judgment also take place on the basis of your cognitive process so another they have talked about the problem solving when you get stuck to a particular problem you are able to think about you are able to come up from that particular problem on the basis of your mental process so mental process is also required to solve a problem now the another another element of cognitive process is decision making now when you are told to take up the right decision you think about it and you try to give try to formulate the right decision on the basis of the mental process so mental process is also used in taking up the right decision now the another is your language now the language is also the major component of cognitive process why because we are able to understand language of particular area on the basis of the cognitive process so children kindly note that we use cognition in all these processes so these are the seven processes without mental process we cannot process particular information from the environment now cognitions are also used in ecological approach now ecological approach mean they are talking about the study between the human and the environment so cognitions are also used to understand the relation between human and environment how we are interdependent on environment so in order to understand the interdependence on environment we also use cognitions now the another branch of psychology that they have talked about is behavior biological psychology now children uh, kindly understand the ter- term that they have used biological means the changes that take place inside our body how those changes tend to influence bit one's behavior and the physical system physical system means when interaction take place in the physical environment how we tend to get affected by the other people behavior so here they are talking about when the changes take place inside our body that tend to influence our behavior like changes in brain and rest of the nervous system immune system and genetics so when changes occur inside our body basically in brain and rest of the nervous system then behavior is also affected in the physical system physical system means 
when the interaction is taking place with other people in one's environment now here they are talking about the biological psychologists often collaborate with collaborate means work together with neuroscientists zoologists and anthropologists now the another field of psychology that they have talked about is neuropsychology now children if i ask you what is neuropsychology neuropsychology is the study of the relation between behavior emotions and cognitions on one hand and the brain functions on the another hand so neuropsychology is a branch of psychology that is concerned with how the brain and rest of the nervous system influence a person cognitions and behavior neuropsychology has emerged as a field of research where the psychologists and neuroscientists are working together researchers are studying the role of neurotransmitter or chemical substance now here they are talking about the neurons how passing of one neurons tend to affect another which are generally responsible for the neural communication in different areas of the brain and therefore in associated mental process they do their research on people with normal functioning brain as well as on the people with the damaged brain by following advanced technologies like eeg pet and fmri and about which we will study later now children neuropsychologist focuses on how injuries and illnesses affect cognitive and behavior so children we are able to see the functioning of the brain through computer by eeg pet and fmri so these help us in knowing how the brain functioning is taking place so it help us to know when the accident take place or people get injuries in their head which part of the brain has mostly damaged so we try to use the advanced technology in order to understand the brain function so children today kindly make a note of cognitive psychology biological psychology and neuropsychology in your notebook